As you may know, World Impact Ministries partners with Gawahi TV in Karachi, Pakistan, the only 24-7 Christian television in the world's largest Muslim city. I'm here with William Sarfraz, World Impact Ministries representative in Pakistan. Recently, the offices and studio equipment were completely destroyed by fire. William, explain to us what happened. Early in the morning at 3 a.m., three trucks of fire brigade officers, they were trying their best to stop the fire, but they couldn't. And the fire was so massive. You know, nothing left rather than the ash. Everything, our cameras, our equipments, our computers. I understand the police reports claim the fire was an accident, a short circuit in the electrical wiring. Do you believe that was the case? We have security cameras. They have been specifically targeted. And our main hard drive, which is stored in our server, was not there. And they used a very extremist chemical. They, it has been used earlier in the nation of Pakistan when they have burned the whole villages. The police still blaming that it is because of the short circuits, which is absolutely not. And at the same time, they always do the same. They blame that it is the work of the Christians rather than try to find out the real culprits, you know, from the extremist background. Why would they do that? Our system is like that. They don't want to accept the reality that the extremist is attacking the Christians. They want to pretend that internationally there is a freedom for the minorities in our country. We know you've invested several years in starting Gawahi TV. This seems like a huge setback, William. Have you decided to continue with the vision of 24-7 Christian television in Karachi, the world's largest Muslim city? You know, we believe that once we started Gawahi television, we named it Witness. Witnessing Christ in the nation of Pakistan will always cost you more than you expect ever in your life. But thank God that we are doing something really positive, especially for our Muslim viewers. They have been blessed and their lives has been changing. And that was a really concern for the Muslim extremist organization. They have given us a very serious threats in the month of May and June. And even now, when they have burned everything, we are committed to even give our lives for the sake of the gospel in the nation of Pakistan. You know, this is not the commitment of myself only, my family, my wife, my children, and our whole team is even more committed to continue and to even produce more content for our viewers. And how are you still able to produce new programming in studio? Is that even possible right now? We don't have anything left, but uh, we rented the cameras, we repair one of the old computer we had, and we are still broadcasting. Thank God we are not broadcasting from our office. We are not broadcasting from our studio. We are broadcasting from somewhere else. That's why, by God's grace, the transmission is still going, and the people who destroyed that, they thought they were stopped, but thank God, the still, we are reaching to the same people, and there has been blessing uh, you know, through the uh, Gawahi television. How have you seen God's favor in this situation for Gawahi TV? People from Karachi, they rushed to our television, they supported us, they came, they visited, they cried with us, and of course they give even more than their capacity. Have you experienced any opposition? Have political leaders, have the police, have others told you that you shouldn't continue on with Gawahi TV? They said you are not only risking your life, but also you are risking the life of the people who are working with you. They will attack you again. But at the same time, the majority of people, even they are Muslims as well, they are calling us, they are coming to us. And, you know, we believe they are really want to be a part of this historical rebuilding moment. William, what does Gawahi TV need right now and why should people take action? Everything has been destroyed. We want to rebuild everything which we lost in Gawahi Television. We want these things to, uh, to continue the message of hope for people. They are desperate to uh, hear the voice of God. I want to thank all of the brothers and sisters in Christ 
we are thankful for your kind support and for your seed that you are sowing for the advancement of his kingdom in Pakistan. And I want to encourage you to be a part of this rebuilding process. And we are reaching people from all backgrounds. Thank you for standing with us for the sake of gospel in Pakistan. Thank you for taking a moment to watch this video interview. I want to emphasize the critical need right now to rebuild Gawahi TV so that it can continue to broadcast the gospel from the world's largest Muslim city. Please call today and do something significant. 1-877-974-7223 or go online today. Thank you for doing what you can today.